Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. We've been blessed with some beautiful sunsets all this week, and today is no exception. That's a live look right now with our Graber Post building, Cam Looking West, out of Terre Haute. Another beautiful evening. More cloud cover will start to move in later, though, as we start to see some changes in our weather. Here's our weather folklore. This is probably one of the most talked about. The darker the woolly worm, the worse the winter will be. I really haven't seen a bunch of them out, but we'll post this up on my social media pages and people can make comment, but that's one of the more common winter weather folklores. And of course, the outlook is coming up on the 22nd at 6 o'clock at this hour. And thanks to our sponsors on the bottom of the screen again this year, we'll be having a winter outlook again and a lot of information on the website as well. We've got Nicole down here to the south. Nicole is now coming back up over the panhandle of Florida after making landfall out here on the east coast earlier. 45 mile per hour winds. It did make landfall as a category one hurricane early today. It's now going to veer up across Georgia and then head up towards about South Carolina and basically kind of get absorbed into this system that's coming through here, but it's going to trap all the moisture. Now we need rain, but look what happens with this system as it moves northward. It's going to keep the moisture away, so we can blame the coal for keeping the rain away because it's going to keep all this moisture away from the cold front as the front moves through. So it's going to produce a lot of rain off to the east of here, but for us, it looks like it's going to keep rain chances at a minimum when that front comes in. That's the front that's going to make a big change in our temperatures. I wanted to show you the drought outlook just came in today. Much of our area, all of this shading here is what we call a moderate drought now. That just shows how much we need the rain and it's still abnormally dry up here, but I just don't see a whole lot of rain coming over the next several Day. So again, all of that area there now under a moderate drought and probably not getting any better in the near future. High temperatures today, not quite as warm as yesterday. We were in the mid 70s yesterday, low 70s for daytime highs today. Here at the TV station, we did get up into the low 70s after 76 was our high yesterday. We hit 72 for the high today. No rainfall. I continue to talk about how it's been really dry out there. We've only gotten 0.57 inches so far in the first uh, 10 days of the month of November. So the Wabash River in Terre Haute, it's still steady right now, about 4.7 feet. What are we tracking? Well, we got a front coming in tonight, so cold air is on the way. Falling temperatures by tomorrow afternoon, a cold weekend, and it's going to stay cold. It looks like this cold air mass is going to hang around for a while. But a beautiful evening. Get out and enjoy it if you can. It's 64 right now in Terre Haute, but the pressure, see that falling rapidly as our storm system nears the area. Temperatures right now, pretty much low to mid 60s, so it's very pleasant. Our storm is spinning up here. By the way, there's blizzard warnings across North Dakota, and right there, that's the front that's going to usher in that cold air. You can kind of see the front producing a few showers off to the northwest of here, but again, most of the moisture is going to be trapped down here with Nicole, and these showers are going to kind of fade away as the front moves in. So nothing locally on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. As the front moves in tomorrow, it'll move in with limited moisture, some clouds. I just really don't think much rain. You see the rain stays off to the southeast of here. As the front passes through, temperatures will tend to fall later in the day, and that opens the door for some chilly weather. Now, interesting note. See this and see the time? Saturday morning, a little weak wave may bring a few snowflakes to the southeastern counties. That's possible. And then the cold weather just basically overtakes us for the upcoming weekend. So forecast for tonight goes like this. Partly cloudy skies tonight. Not bad on the temperature of 47 for the overnight low. During the day tomorrow, big changes are on the way. The front comes through. It'll be breezy. 57, but temperatures will tend to fall later in the day. And then after that, here comes the real cold push by the time we see the weekend. Daytime high of about 41 Saturday, 43 Sunday. Might see a few snowflakes early on Tuesday as it stays cold through all of next week. Grant. Thank you.